Good afternoon, my friends. It's lovely to see you again. Today, I've got some Northern Realms games for you. I can't believe it. A decent Northern Realms deck. Now, I've actually got two decks for you because I was playing one and my opponent was playing a very similar deck, um, except the key card that the deck revolves around was different. Um, and I think they both work really in a unique way. I think his might be slightly better, but I, I lost one potential unit, which is a shame. Now this revolves around the leader card Henselt. Now it said that it plays a copy of a unit from your deck, but it actually plays all copies. Uh, so we didn't find this out until quite late in the PTR because it's actually written wrong. Um, and also there's another card as well, the Blue Stripes Commando. It says it moves a card to the bottom of your deck. And that also gave people the wrong impression. It doesn't move a card, it creates a card at the bottom of your deck. So it's basically a NECA warrior, but it creates one copy at the bottom of your deck. So combining these, now you can see how it works. Blue Stripes Commandos creates copies of units at the bottom of your deck, and then hence out pulls them all. Uh, and this combo is used in two different ways in this particular gameplay clip. And it's a pretty good combo. Um, it's a very powerful one. I think my opponent's is slightly more interesting because he's using the Spectral Knights. Well, just watch, you know, you can see it unfold. Hopefully you'll understand what's going on now. I've, I've explained it a little bit. But uh, one of the one of the more interesting Northern Rounds, if not the only Northern Rounds interesting combo that's around. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. So the trick is Men of Kedwin, attack! that you should play Nilfgaard cards. <laughs> Today I played Kira into Scorch and 30 strength and got a card because of killing Golga. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> You've got balls, that's clear. But you'll need more than that. Oh, oh, oh. Just getting warmed up. Nothing personal, I assure you. <laughs> 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 Scare and scatter the lots! <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> so you can't actually use that until it gets to at least four. Nothing's got one, two, three provisions. In the closed PTR, they did have one, two, and three provisions. I'm, I'm okay in saying that. They even had some cards which were zero provisions. I think there might have been bugs, though. Apart from maybe Dimeritian Bomb. That might not have been a bug. The Dimeritian Bomb does what it does now, but it used to... Elves must die! Melee, no! Undo! Undo! Fucking gay! Damn it. Make Obviously wasn't move paying. Already. I thought I, I already looked day. at them, to be honest, but maybe I didn't. Uh, right before... Oh, so the current Gwendon, basically. Uh, the core of this... I think the faction identity in this is a lot worse. Bloody non-humans. Regroup. Ha! Yeah, I don't think the faction identity works very well here. But you've got Spectres, if they're going for Cursed Northern Realms, they didn't do a very good job of it. He's going for loads of these. He's going to pull loads of these out. That's pretty clever, I like that. Okay, but he did a clever. What do you mean? Hey, Mad Monkey. What are you saying yep for? Ah. 
good. End step target is knights. All right, yeah. Cool, cool. I messed mine up, so mine's not going to be as powerful, unfortunately. I'll relieve you of that pouch. <laughs> I forgot to do that. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> what a fucking dick. I love him. Can't take it anymore. Siri Nova's different, yeah. She's um she's the only unit in your graveyard on turn end. She comes back onto the board. And there's basically entire there's a spell archetype rolling around her being the only unit in the deck apart from the phoenix um and she just comes out and so for every faction hello king dem of end of edern <laughs> i love it role playing <laughs> you know i'm actually really liking this curse thing because he's getting way more copies than i am i like that Come forward, enough. <laughs> oh, but that one's doomed though, so that's not really more, is it? Unless he plans to hence out them now. I am ready. You can try to win them all, but you won't. So what's he doing? There you go. I do have to worry about my plays though. I don't have another mulligan. I mean, there's some leaders I do feel the mulligans are too low. We're fine, we're fine. No problems. See, they seem to work every time, Roach. I've never had them fail if I place them on the right row. Oh, that one's probably worse. I think the most of the audience in Northern Realms are 1.2 weak, yes. Like this is 5 value, right? But 5 is average value and I have to wait and it's vulnerable because of that. So this is, I've got to wait and be vulnerable for an average value, which is bad. The thing, I think their value in charge to be quite high because you can get loads of them, but I don't know, even the ones that give charge are not over statted, are they? They're normally like three give give a charge or something I don't like men who turn me down poor king and honor I've no idea why I thought she played twice played it twice. I, I've been thinking that for ages. Uh, ever since I put her in, I thought she played twice. Weird, eh? Here they come. Oh boy, seven. Four. Seven. Seven. Oh, I see you've been practicing. Alright, here's mine then. I did lose one earlier because I misplayed it, so... He has more, obviously, because he's been converting them, which is nice. So, I, I'm not sure. I think his is worth more. 
For King and Honor! But we're still in the lead, so we're feeling pretty good about it. I'm more of a, I'm not more vulnerable to Scorch, am I? Yeah, I am. Not just Scorch, but Igni as well, and so. So I would have had another one. But I messed up, which is unfortunate. I'm going to assume he doesn't have Scorch. But we might as well... Might as well protect it anyway. Uh, how do you do that? <laughs> That's someone is saying in the chat. Right, right. He's got one more card. If that card's worth eight points, then he wins. I think tempo-wise, I might be able to keep up with him. I'm, I'm, I like this. I like in that I'm seeing two different versions of Hens out that are very similar but use different strats. And this is kind of interesting. He probably might have Draug at the end as well, so he might have some better combos with it too. It's pretty damn cool. I must think of my folk. Shame I don't have a way to kill it. I just gave him three points. <laughs> well, GG. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> two points. I give him two points. Um, how come it didn't go off? Did it... Look, it locked it, I suppose. Uh, if I must... All right then. How's he got? What's that? Seven point, uh, six points. It was a fun game. I think I'd love to hear Draug right now, but I think he's definitely in his deck. But whether he has it in his hand because you no, don't get everything you want. Way, not one bit. All oh, right. Okay. He's got Regis as well. Holy crap, man! I got wrecked hard. All right. But I really enjoyed that. I mean, you saw my strat. I did mess it up a little bit, but I think I would have still lost. And his strat was pretty cool too with all the, you know, stuff. Let me just have a quick check on what Draug actually does to see whether he's actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, he does one damage. I mean, to be honest, when I asked, let me just check what he does. I think we could have all guessed that he did damage. It was 50-50. He either does damage or he either does boosts. So just like all the other 50 cards, <laughs> just like 50 other cards. Do one damage per charge.